Hey, it's Mike. And Rachel. And we are with Rockin' K. And if you don't know who we are, we are a couple of Americans that are transplanted to Germany. We are doing the off-grid, the homesteading thing, and all of that here in Germany. A little bit of DIY. A little bit of DIY, a little bit of everything. So we are making our, our life here in Germany. And it is time for our weekly roundup, the coffee with, with the K's. K's. Hey y'all, so it has been a, another good week. We, uh, been busy, as usual, in a couple of different directions, but we're getting her done. We got a lot done this week. Um, we are quasi back on the reno. If you watched yesterday's video, um, I had to make that, cut that video short at 50 minutes, but... Uh, the issue was I had done a lot of work in the lower barn, and this is all melding into the reno because um, we're having to replace pretty much all the wiring uh, that's exposed with this renovation. So what this is doing is uh, the, the mudroom area that we are working in, cables cut through that room. And the cables are not up to code. Yeah. So along the way, we're having to pull the old cables and replace them with new uh, up to code cables. Um, this was a working farm. It is becoming a working farm. We're doing a little more farming day by day. Um, with that said, we have a lot of three phase um, electric electrical outlets across the, the homestead here. Um, there's some on the wood barn, there's some over in the cow barn, and of course down in the lower barn. And the problem is they were um, tying the ground in the neutral at some of these outlets. And if you know anything about electricity, about electricity, that's no bueno. So uh, the reason they were doing that is because they strung four wire instead of five wire um, to these, to the sub box yeah. in the cow barn right here, and then uh, the leg that went out to the lower barn. So we have to undo all of this because it cuts directly through um, that mud room, and it's actually in the ceiling and all that. So we're back on this reno. Uh, I know it's kind of a technicality, sort of, kind of, but we're getting the electrical replaced and. Uh, getting the cabling going for the for the renovation. Um, so if you watched yesterday's um, video, I was installing the uh, sub box, if you want to call it that, down in the lower barn. Um, it's basically a wall box with breakers, and the outlets are actually mounted to the box. It really doesn't go anywhere else. Um, but we uh, we we're, we're getting quality power uh, to the lower barn and. We'll be working and replacing the leg out to the cow barn before the ceiling goes up in the, the mud room behind yeah. me, that doorway right behind me. Um, we have a bunch of equipment on order. Um, we're waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping it's not like a COVID style wait. Um, it looks like it's gonna, some of it's getting delivered this week, uh, this coming week. So um, we'll... Of course, have content related to that once the equipment shows up to show you what we got and how it works and all that. Um, the weather has improved. Um, we were having really bipolar. Oh, cold. One minute warm, the next minute snowing or hailing. And for the past two days, it's been good weather. So we're hopeful that we are out of the craziness. Yep. Um, it's going to be a woodworking kind of week. Yeah. Um, even if the... Um, equipment comes in because we have a couple of ongoing projects. As you know, if you've watched, you've seen us working on the firewood bin. I did get over and do some more work on that. And there is um, some video of that, but I'm going to ball it all together yeah. um, to when we wrap it up and we complete that project, which should be in this week. 
So we have another side um, woodworking job at the same location, uh, helping out that the, the fellow homesteader over over across the way. Um, but I will be cutting firewood. Um, I, I did. Um, I did film some like progress reports along the way and I'll kind of wrap them up and pop, start popping them into um, at least our, our weekly postings. Um, this week's going to be busy. I have car maintenance to do as well. Um, my, the car, my daily driver is coming up on its inspection and also I started picking up a battery light so it means my alternator is no good. Generator, depending upon um, where you're from, generator, alternator, uh, list machine. Um, but it's no good. Uh, I have the new one, got it in. Now I have to install it. Um, so I don't think I'm going to make contact to that. Um, I get frustrated easily with mechanical work. Um, it may not seem it, but... Uh, Which is amusing since he is an aircraft mechanic. But... Uh, cars don't normally um, cooperate. So I told you that we would update you um, when we hit one month on our micro solar, our yes. balcony solar. And I will tell you what, I am impressed. Yeah. We have a total of 830 watts, I think it is, of panel, or is it 860 watts? 860 watts of panel. Um, but what I'm going to do is you're going to lose Rachel here for a minute because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a screenshot of what our um, micro solar, balcony solar, has put out. Now, mind you, we are limited to 800 watts coming into the panel. So if you look right here to where Rachel is, you will see that the solar in 30 days made 76 kilowatt hours. It saved 75.77 kilograms of carbon dioxide, and which equates to four trees uh, being having having been saved. Yeah. So we'll take that off the screen and let Rachel come back. And so we'll get onto a quick little bit of um, YouTube business. Uh, we are at 44.8 thousand views, so we picked up uh, half a thousand views, almost almost a thousand views in a week. Um, we are at 1.7 thousand hours. We are clicking hours off, and um, I know we were about 1.7 last week, but was actually just below 1.7. Now we're above 1.7. Um, YouTube rounds it up. Uh, we picked up an, an, another subscriber. We're at 326 subscribers. And with that said, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy our content. And, and uh, yep, hit the notification. Hit, hit the notification. Bell. It'll let you know when we're when we're posting up content. Um, our content is varied, as m most of our viewers know. But um, we're looking forward to having another good week. We do have a lot of footage that is actually floating around on Cams, the, yeah. the cameras and all that that I'm actually pushing in and uh, doing the editing. We are looking at changing our editing uh, software, and that's a must. I need to do some upgrades on my computer in my office in order to um, be able to run uh, the new software. I don't want to run it on the laptop because I'm going to need some real estate and some monitors. Um, right now I've been doing all my editing on the laptop and uh, using the Microsoft product. And we're going to move over to uh, DaVinci. Yeah. He runs into a lot of problems with the Microsoft and sometimes yep. he has to start all over again and then he gets frustrated and yeah. So, you know, once we move over to DaVinci, um, I'll let you know. But... That is our week in a nutshell and where we're going next week. We hope everybody's had a wonderful week. Hope y'all had a good week. Hope y'all have a good week coming up. Yes. And uh, sticking with my motto, if you're thinking about family and you're thinking about friends, give them the What's Up or the What's App. You know you'd love to hear from them too. And 
until the next installment. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.